Hey now, I was just calling with a quick question. Can you tell me if it's pronounced John Eudes or John Eudes? Eudes? Well, what you say goes. Saint John Eudes, a man of great faith, a man of great virtue. He was a priest, a missionary, and the founder of not one, but two religious orders. Unsurprisingly, looking at his history, he had a deep devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we can see the fruit of that throughout his whole life. He was ordained a priest at the age of 24, and that's where the fun really got started. He lived through severe plagues, during which he would go out, care for the sick, and in order to not spread the sickness to those around him, he would live isolated in a field for extended periods of time to ensure that he was able to, one, care for those in poor health, and two, maintain the good health of those around him. By the age of 32, he became a parish missionary, often preaching parish missions for months or weeks at a time. Throughout his life, we can recognize that he never really had deep physical roots. He was kind of going wherever the Lord called him, whether it was discerning out of a particular religious order, living in a field, going to different parishes to preach the gospel and participate in the mission. He was always on the move. But despite his lack of deep physical roots, we can see that all of this was possible because of his deep spiritual roots. He knew the Lord and was able to discern where he was being called. Because of the faith he had in the Lord, he was able to trust that no matter where he went, God would provide for him. God would provide the opportunities for him to be his hands and feet in the world. He made mistakes, as we all do, but he never took his eyes off the one true destination, eternal life in heaven. He's best known for his writings on Jesus as a source of holiness and Mary as the model of Christian life. There's even some talk that he could become a doctor of the church one of these days. We'll see how that plays out. One thing we can know for sure is he is interceding for us and he is interceding for the church. Thanks, John. May his life inspire us to deeper surrender and trust in the Lord's providence and, as always, greater devotion to the Blessed Mother. St. John Utes, pray for us. See you next time.